Ding, ding, the ding, ding. All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back. It's Supposed to Remedy Podcast. It's your boy, Dr. Day. Mr. Wash. Ashley Ray. A weekly conversation of a mental health, social issues, and other contributing factors playing in society. Um, I'm trying to do a Zoom meeting today. So it's a little different. Yeah, a little different. Yeah, we got it in uh we are social distancing. Yeah. <laughs> at, at our best. Trying to. Yeah. Well shit, y'all still going to work. I'm not going to work, so I'm not there in the the uh fr- I'm not a frontline person. Uh, well, you know, you know a frontliner, but you still essential. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Y'all yeah. working for like uh well why is you working like the oil and gas stuff and then Yeah. And then Ashley, you got insurance. Straight pharmacist, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, low key. Um, they said dispensaries <laughs> were considered essential, so all of them stayed open. Who? What's that? Like yeah. the places where weed is legal. All the weed spots. All dispensaries. I believe you. They have trouble driving over there. They made that announcement in like what was that? Denver or somewhere like that? Denver and LA. Yeah. They still keep yeah. the dispensaries open because they are essential business. <laughs> Trying to keep the suicide rate down. Hell yeah. Which is basically what we're going to talk about today because, like, people's mental health has been kind of affected by this whole thing. People have yeah. been uh, going through depression, anxiety, shit of that sort. So, what have y'all been dealing with? I mean, y'all, y'all ain't really staying at home like that, but. Not being able to go out and eat and shit like that. I mean, because on place y'all can really go is working back. Well, yeah. you try to get something to eat, but y'all got to stand outside and shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm know. doing that no more. I, 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 I'm done with it. I don't think I can do the whole eat, try to eat the food, wait a whole hour or whatever. It's too much going on out there. So I actually been cooking more. And what you been cooking? Actually, healthy stuff like cauliflower, stir fry rice, and Chicken breast. I want to try a new recipe today. I don't know yet. I've been right. cooking, but it ain't been it ain't been healthy stuff. Like I had some. I thought I your damn nachos, nigga. Yeah, nachos, <laughs> good. nachos, ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are good. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is the time Say, where you supposed to get in there and fuck up some stuff and be Say, like, I got this trunk. Tell him to bring that stimulus shit for your ass, nigga. Eat Roman noodles and shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. I need money. I'm broke out here. I need I need money to come in. Uh-uh. You got to find somebody that got some stamps. You know, and they, like, increase food stamps, too. Hell yeah. yeah. So you got to find somebody that got some stamps. I was like, whoever got stamps probably got a bunch of them hoes. Hell yeah. I think they, had, they said they might have doubled them. Something like that. They got double the amount of food stamps for I the month. Them. I gotta call my lady. Yeah, <laughs> call, call call your food stamp people because they got the, they got them stamps ready. Um, but yeah, no, like, but overall, like, because I've been doing a lot of like mental health counseling. Well, I haven't done a lot, but the few that I've done and the people that I've talked to about it, they said, you know, it's been kind of tough. Like, we've got a lot of uh, new referrals at the office I work for because people wow. wanting to talk to somebody. Cause they stuck at home. So, so what were they doing before? Going to work. Oh, so they need to, oh, they need yeah, people they, around them. I really don't need nobody around me. This is pleasant. See, yeah, no, but you're still they're going to work. work. Yeah, they're coping with work and shit. Like I say, now you're not going to work. I don't like the people at my job. We don't talk, so we straight. This is, I'm comfortable yeah. in my house. Like, you I, like, talk I know to somebody, somebody that is actually like stuck at home for the whole day because people that like be at home all day they especially if they got like kids or something there like they they getting frustrated yeah like i know somebody right now they got like a um like at home with their kid and stuff and they kind of like they going crazy because they just missed that adult conversation that adult contact mm-hmm. and you dealing with your kid 24 and they said they're going that's there. why you get on tinder you gotta oh, get on tinder don't nobody want to get on Tinder. Swipe right. Swipe right. Don't get on Tinder. Because Tinder people trying to beat, and they can't beat right now. because they can't You never beat. know. They might be lonely, too. They <laughs> might be lonely. You can't, oh, they you, can't lonely. Even, you, can't, you can't even set it up. Because you don't know you're going to be free. Right. I'll see you in three months. 
What you mean free? Nigga, don't you think everybody locked up in this house? I didn't see parties. I didn't see everything down the street. It's no, everybody ain't locked up. That don't make it right. You can't tell me people ain't named y'all DM talking about, hey, what you doing? I'm gonna come over there. People ain't locked up, but shit, how many how many people you want to ride out to or whatever? Like, they might have a corona out there. I ain't trying to... Right. It's niggas that don't care that you got the rona. Like, for That's real. That's true. I ain't trying to... I, I, like, I know a couple. Crazy. They don't care that you got anything. They lonely. They ready to come over and risk it all. Mm -mm. So you gonna go meet a stranger that might have a rona just so that you can meet. Yeah, I didn't care about HIV and STDs and stuff, so it's the same shit. Wow. If that damn lonely, get on Tinder, you find somebody. It's free. Or Bumble or whatever the fuck y'all get. <laughs> you know about all the sites. I mean, you, know what Bumble is. Is. you don't even need to get on that. Go go on your Instagram. You know that nigga you been basically I Slide up in there and see what Tyrone talked about. Hey, so, hey, so this is the time to slide in DMs. Everybody it knows. is. All you got to do is like, man, I love that picture from 18 weeks ago. I hated to tell you. Like, it's a lot of bullshit you can feed people because they lonely. Just don't pull it my way. I ain't that fucking lonely yet. Catch me about July. And I might let you fly. <laughs> they say, um, and they said you should like, if you texting somebody and they don't text you back now, then they really don't like you because they got That's not true like though. You. Hey man, that's not true. Let me tell you, because I had to put my phone on Do Not Disturb last night. Cause I was tired. I didn't blowing up. Talk to nobody. It wasn't it was just dumb shit. Like people text me like, hey, Ashley. This uh, this Susan from five years ago. How are you? And you be like, who? Yeah, they bored out they fucking mind. I they ain't. On you. No, that bitch bored. She wasn't <laughs> checking on me before. <laughs> it's a different time, man. So you had Corona going around and shit. Not the wrong. Make sure you. Yeah. Open. No, I'm sorry. These people, they bored. They need me to check up on them. Like so you want to check up on me because, bitch, I seen you in Facebook. You've been going every day to a party and leaving my ass behind. But now you're lonely. So this is my question. Uh, damn, what is my question? Do you feel like it's a good time to reach out to people? Like whenever it's like a national pandemic and I mean a global pandemic going on, like is this time you should check on people? People did that shit with Kobe Bryant, so I don't know. Yes, yes, and no. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's a good time to check on somebody like, hey, you know, hey, just check and see how you're doing. Make sure everything's good with her, right? Yeah. But I guess it's uh, the level of your interaction with that person has to play uh, into it. So if y'all, if y'all, what y'all call it, if y'all uh, banged before, y'all. Well, can well. <laughs> Well, because I'm saying, like, you, like, all this shit going on, you could be really concerned, like, hey, man, you good out there, because I heard on the news, with her, right? But somebody could take it as, this is a hey, big head text. It's true. I mean, but I feel like, like, you ain't been a hey, big head text somebody if, like, yeah. you have no chance of seeing them for, for sure. months. No, it's niggas out here really asking what you're doing to hey, big head For real. Oh, yeah. And I believe it. I believe niggas is doing it. I'm just saying it's kind of stupid to do it. Yeah. I feel sorry for the people that's locked up with somebody they don't want to be with right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. That happens too. <laughs> like, like I feel sorry for the niggas that don't have no home that's with their baby mama right now. <laughs> yeah, like I say, the niggas that's locked up with their baby mama or like stay with their wife. <laughs> then, like, let's say you was like beefing like the week before that. And y'all were having like real issues. Yeah, yeah. What, if she, separating. what if she cheated on you? <laughs> now you gotta stay with her. Now you gotta stay. <laughs> and you sleeping with the kids and they little bug <laughs> big. You wanna sleep with that big head on. <laughs> nah, she had to go sleep with somewhere else. She was no, cheating. she ain't no. Better go find that nigga house. This but <laughs> <Take her ass. laughs> this might help y'all relationship that y'all gotta sit down and talk. This might be the therapy y'all need locked in together. Yes and no. Because sometimes uh, them conversations, like, they don't go well. Like, people don't always want to talk. So it don't really go over. Like, it don't go over as well as you would think it is. Like, oh, we get, we get time to really just hash out. Maybe it's some shit you just can't hash out. So then you just kind of fuck. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I agree that it's good, like, to have that time 
to have the conversation and now you kind of forced to sit down and work shit out because you got to be with this person for the next like month maybe two or three months that's too damn long i probably end up leaving i'm staying with my mama <laughs> um okay i got a question has anyone asked you during this time man what if i caught the corona how would you feel no nah, nobody asked me that <laughs> nobody asked me that shit. <laughs> well fuck it y'all laughing yeah. at me <laughs> <laughs> How would I'm you the feel? only one dealing with high school people. <laughs> how, how, how would you feel? Nah, that shit pissed I mean, me off so bad that I, I had to really pray before I ever. Well, I mean, I guess it's, it, that'd be somebody that, like, I mean, you have regular interaction with, I guess. So somebody that you... What like, interaction? Right? Who asks a question like that? Like, what the fuck? Because if they can't, if they got corona, then you can't interact with them like that no more. You can't go, you can't be around them or nothing. Yeah, but why would you even put yourself to having corona? It's like you're looking for some type of attention type of shit. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, just, just live your life. They want to know if you be there for them. Because, you know... If, I, if, you, I, okay, okay. if you got to ask all that, you know damn well I ain't going to be there. Like, oh, damn. So basically, you saying you ain't going to be there for that person, whoever it is. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be there through, you know, like, I'll pray for you. You um, hit the nigga with that space age pimping? What's that oh, one? Remember, remember uh, the Space Age Pimpin' was on there? Uh, the girl is asking the question, somebody, would you kill for me? And they say, yeah, if my life in danger too. Oh, would you feel for me? <laughs> for me? Yeah, if that shit belongs yeah. to me. Would you feel for me? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, okay, so that brings up a, a, a question I have. So, like, part of this corona thing is, that people are like dying from it for real, right? Yeah. yeah. The thing about the people that are dying is they can't have visitation because you can't have somebody go in there with you that could catch it while you're dying. So if they die, they're pretty much dying alone. So, that's scary. Yeah. So I think that's why people, that may be where that question comes from. I'm not trying to get that person an excuse, but that may be where that question comes from. Because like if somebody catches corona, then you got to kind of isolate yourself. No matter how bad you get, you can't really interact with the outside other than like maybe through video chat or something like that. Like, and so your support is gonna come from people that are really close to you, but they can't even get too close. They asked, they asked me how is it? I don't know. Oh no. So is there is there anybody that you know that you would be there for if that were to happen to them? Yeah. Yeah. Like, other than family. Like, yeah, of course, your family. If somebody in your family go down and, you know, you want to be no, there most, and make sure to get better. I would be there for y'all. Goddamn right, you better be there. You better be. Say all. Uh, ain't no all. You better be there. Um, now, would y'all be there for me? Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that, I think that you have to be supportive of people. <laughs> <laughs> in those types of situations because it could be really tough. So you don't want to get stuck by yourself. Nah, like I said, that's 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 a big thing to think about. Like I said, people dying by themselves and stuff like that. Another thing um with this corona shit is basically um good and bad is giving you time to think about shit. Mm-hmm. You, really, you really ain't got nowhere to go. So the good aspect of that is you finally sit down somewhere, you connect, kind of evaluate where you at, what you need to do, try to be creative with certain things, which you want to move forward with, especially when this stuff is over with. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's negative in the fact of some a lot of people don't need to be left to their thoughts. Because a lot of people go to bad places when they're kind of isolated. And I can I can attest to that because like I get I have anxiety sometimes, so I overthink. So like when I when I get to a point where I'm just I ain't got shit else to occupy my mind and I just ain't got nothing else to do, I start to like worry about shit that I shouldn't even be worried about. And so like I'll start feeling like real anxious about things because I just ain't got nothing else to do. So I got I sit around all day and think because I ain't got shit else to do. Yeah. Yeah, you need to go build a house. Go build a house. I need to build a house. <laughs> I need to go do something though. Like I'm gonna start occupying my time better. Like I'm gonna start working on my yard, uh, doing stuff around my house, fixing shit, building shit. I don't know something. I think you have to bite. 
Yeah, I bought me a bike. Yeah. Ah, like, everybody got a bike. Have... Ain't no bikes in the store, y'all. I look. Ain't oh no, nobody. I know. That's how I ended up paying so much for mine because I was like, I like this bike. I would probably get a cheaper one, but it was the only one That's left. Like you said two set. I was like, hey, I ain't looking for no more three hundred dollars. Yeah, that nigga fancy. I it know. Fancy. It's a huffy, but it is nice though. It's like it's got different gears, <laughs> high and low shifting, and it's nice. But yeah, no. Nah, so when it, this is over, we can also ride bikes. Yay! Yeah, but. I, it's been a long time since I rode a bike, right? Since like middle school, probably. So that's like what twenty years ago. So like since middle school. Yeah, I ain't rode no bike since middle school. When, when I gonna buy, ride a bike any other time? You just didn't ride bikes, cause like just to ride bikes, like. Y'all yeah, like, huh? ride bikes. Yeah, like y'all rode bikes like downtown and stuff. I ain't never done it. I like. Like when I went to Miami, I rode bikes. I rode one of them like bike scooters, like them electric scooters that like look like a bike downtown. I've done wrong yeah. ones, bro. But I ain't, I ain't just rode a bike, like pedaled on a bike since like middle school. So like anyway, I was shifting gears, and like I forget that like when it shifts gears, sometimes it like jerks, like you know the pedals jerk as you shift. <laughs> Yeah. Nigga, that, my foot slipped off the <laughs> hole. That, that pedal tore up the back of my ankle. Like, I didn't fall off a bike, but that pedal tore up the back of my ankle. Dog. I got you said you fell, nigga. You fell. I ain't fall, though. I ain't fall off a bike. I ain't rode a bike. I ain't rode a bike since middle school. Okay. <laughs> I haven't. Like you need some years. ankle pads. You need some ankle pads next time when you go out. I do. That's what I'm saying. Like I need to. I need to wear a helmet. I need all of that. Oh no, but, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna go out there looking like one of them. Uh, I, I ride with you go with a helmet, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look like one of them five year olds. They just took the training wheels off. <laughs> I had the elbow pads. Did you scream? Did you scream? <laughs> oh, I think I, I said fuck. Go have a little bell on that hoe. Yep. <laughs> Put a basket on the front. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you like the basket. Hell yeah. I, I, I like the basket, but that helmet shit gotta go. Basket hole, Larry, that helmet. A helmet is to protect you, man. Like, it, you could fall what off and have a serious head. Now, was you riding with a helmet when you was younger? Everybody was straight when I rode, so I don't know what this new shit. You gotta wear a helmet. It ain't like when you drive Freeway. Ashley be lagging. To the bar. <laughs> you know what? I said, Ashley lagging with that Michael computer. That's your computer. She lagging. She had that Walmart shit. Uh, <laughs> she lagging my Walmart. Your computer lagging, man. I mean, your uh, internet lagging. It's, it's better now. You good. It's good. It's <laughs> good. But, uh,. <laughs> Oh, what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, no, you pick up new hobbies, which is good, I guess, because like I said, I'm, I'm hopping on the bike now. I went, I drove, I rode for about five miles when the first day I got it. <laughs> Put a new skin on that mug. Because <laughs> like that, the seat that come with it is like one of them sport bike seats, so it's like real slim. I'm like, who the hell is supposed to sit on this hoe? So, you can go buy another little pad. They said we timed out. No, nah, it say it say well because they used to give you a forty minute limit. Okay. So, but like because of this Corona shit and everybody using it for meetings, they letting you know that you know you have more than forty minutes. You have as much time as you need. Gotcha. So. I said they're gonna they kick, kick us off this hole. They got to Nah, they 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 give you as much time as you need now. Before they used to be like forty minute limit because you had to you had to sign up for a premium service in order to okay. stay on. Yeah, but now you don't have to have premium anymore because shit, they aren't even ready for all this. And that's the another part of this whole Corona thing is that like since everybody's moving to online shit, a lot of these online companies weren't ready for that shit. Yeah. So like Zoom has been around, but it's just being used a lot more now because of shit like this and meetings, and now they're doing it for classrooms and oh, like, yeah. everybody's using the shit. You know, so yeah, they 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 getting their money because they stocked and jumped up like a hundred. I'm saying since all the shit hit. 
The other thing is like for like school, we use this uh, application called Schoology to put our class assignments and stuff on. Like you can't log on to that hole in the middle of the day anymore because you won't, it's too much traffic. So like it takes forever to load. Sometimes it won't let you on and shit like that. Cause it's like across the country, a lot of people use Schoology. And so they servers weren't ready for this, for everybody to be logging on at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's, it's gonna adjust to like everybody kind of like going like to the colleges, like use a blackboard. Mm-hmm. And so oh like, yeah, I can see that. That's pretty good. I should use that definitely. See, and what the issue is right now is that you're we're still dealing with like school licenses. So like the school licenses Schoology, which is a an application in itself. Like schools don't really work with Blackboard right now because Blackboard is almost exclusively for college. And mm-hmm. so like whatever whatever company the school has a contract with, we still gotta use them. Like at first they told us that they would rather us not use Zoom for our meetings because we're a Google district. So they're like, why aren't you using Google Meet to have your meetings? <clears throat> so like every district meeting I have, it's on Google Meets because the district uses Google because that's who they have a contract with. But like my campus meetings or my team meetings, I, I use Zoom. Cause it's just easier for me. But yeah, it, it's crazy how much this like the this whole quarantine and corona shit is like changing the way people are viewing even this technology shit and how much we have to use it. Yeah. I don't know. We're in a new world. Let me ask y'all this. This will be the last thing and then we can cut this off. But um what is y'all's goal? Like do you have anything that you feel like you should be able to accomplish or, or something that you should gain at the end of all of this? Because We'll probably be out of this shit, maybe like May, June, sometime during the summer. Anything you need to change you, for you. You, you. you wishing right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for like May. I want to I wanna accomplish having a new trait. So maybe I might be the top chef. Chef? Yeah. Chef. Or I make my own clothes. Are you going to sew? Might as well. We're going to be and get that better internet. That's what she gonna do first. <laughs> Before this over, get you upgrade that internet. <laughs> Your internet wasn't ready for Zoom. <laughs> even uh, she, even the middle finger moving in slow motion. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so so you gonna be you say gonna be a chef? You can get the internet. What else to say? Um, She's gonna sell some clothes. Oh, yeah, sell some clothes. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is, for one, I'm gonna ride my bike and try to do some more healthy shit, like more exercising and stuff. And the other thing is, I need to read some more. I need to learn some shit. Like, I like learning. I was actually talking to my mom about that yesterday. I I really like learning. So I need to take the time to actually learn something, just anything new that can either help me with my trade now. Like with counseling or even something new, like just a new trade, like Ashley said, I I figure out which one I want to do and just start YouTube and shit or something. And I want to fix stuff around my house. I need to actually get get active on since I got time on my hands. You know, hang up shit that I might want to hang up. Clean out the garage, clean up my backyard, maybe plant some plants because plants are cheap. I just never have the time to go out there and put them in the yard. Yeah. Mm. So I should do that. I find stuff like that. Like I said, I'm like I said, I started I'm starting a 30 day challenge on tomorrow. Like uh with a little weight loss thing, whatever, and then just fitness with the C B D T and like the Lucha Burst, whatever the light lasso, what is called? The you know, somebody huh? That they kind of tea, whatever. Yeah. We don't know what coach you're talking about. Yeah. Drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> but uh <laughs> <laughs> not, not, but I'm saying like doing that for the next 30 days. Um, I need to go buy a bike because I want to start riding. I guess it's cold where you at. You got a hoodie on and shit. I it, don't was cold, it, was, it was cold in the apartment. Uh-huh. Nah, nigga, you try to hide that haircut. Show us what the fuck you looking like <laughs> during Corona. This is real. <laughs> really, I'm, I'm looking very woolly right now. Yeah, I was gonna say my like I ain't, my shit not edged up at all. Like I look all rough. Me neither. I just got my hair twisted up a little bit. Ooh, line, line that mustache up. <laughs> I'm not getting. I'm not waxing my stash. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Nigga, where your stash is? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
I was gonna say a lot of people are suffering. They ain't been able to go to the nail lady. Can't get no waxing done. None of that. Hey, you gotta do it yourself. They got. I mean, you can buy some of this shit yourself to do. I seen a lot of people. I seen a lot of people do it themselves lately. Yeah, wax they. Yeah, I'm just scared. <laughs> now you time to learn how to do everything yourself. Because, I mean, you can't, like, a lot of them businesses are closed, so you better learn how to do it yourself. Hey, this is the best time to find a trade, like you're saying. Be creative and stuff. That's what I'm trying to do, trying to find something to move forward with. Because this, this time, a lot of people are going to come out of here being, like, entrepreneurs and finding out different things to do. That's true. Because um, you ain't got shit else to do. But think, but think on something. They I'm said probably- only fans done picked up. Hey man. Hey, I thought about getting on there like you said. Good <laughs> yeah. man. I, I I actually I actually uh seen this one this one lady whatever post about it and she basically posts like the finesse of it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, the, the uh that Miss B whatever where she had like posted where she all she did was like take her Instagram pictures and put them on there, but you had to buy no. access to it first. No, I know what you're talking about. It's one that you told us about. Yeah. This one, she, she basically told us like, all right, they be um, posting like they subscriber uh, rate. Uh-huh. They, they, you subscribe for like twenty dollars, right? They say she said the finesse is you drop your subscriber thing down like ten dollars, right? Ten, ten, eight bucks. So you subscribe to it. Now after I subscribe to it for the eight, like eight dollars, uh, I look at your post and they have like the tipping option on there for different pictures you post on. You can tip. Yeah. They said they make their money on the tips, but then also they was like on the timeline they'll just post, um, "Hey, I did this in this video, whatever." They show like a like a ten fifteen second like teaser, mm-hmm. and like you want to see the whole video, you gotta pay like thirty dollars for it. Damn, forty dollars for it. You want to see this whole video of me, whatever. And it was like you get so many people to just buy the whole video. They already paying eight dollars a month on top of tipping, on top of uh one certain clip for like twenty thirty bucks. So you out here killing, right? It's hmm. a lot of money to be made in that, man. Yeah. You know I'm saying so. If you're a woman and you broke, you tripping. You tripping. Tripping. No reason you should be broke as a woman. You can make money because niggas gonna pay you for anything. Yeah, y'all can get on there too. You said what happened? I mean, y'all can get on there too. Yeah, but we ain't gonna sell like that though. Yeah, men. You I, never I, know. I, hey, don't ever say never because the way shit looking right now. Hey, after these thirty days, I might have to. Nigga, please. <laughs> you gonna hate on me like that, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like looking like some fake ass broccoli right now. Some <laughs> fake ass, some fake ass celery. Look at you. Broccoli. Yeah, with that thing on top of your head. <laughs> is that you, nigga? Is that you? Mm-hmm. Is your hurt? No, nah, I don't know what I'm gonna do after 30 days. It's gonna get real bad. Y'all gonna see my real hair. Let it's them gray show. Like let, let them let them gray show. I ain't seen Ashley, Ashley real hair. I ain't seen Ashley real hair in the three years I know her. My mama <laughs> ain't seen it in ten years. I don't give a shit if you ain't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen it either. Hey, this quarantine gonna have that real hair coming out. It's cool. I'm gonna be rocking my natural. Silver Fox. Back to black. Yeah. I might look like Storm. Let the grays go. The grays out to play. I'm calling my beautician. I'm like, look, girl, just do me in the garage. They don't know. <laughs> right, man. But yeah, I got anything else before we get out of here? Um, I'm good. All right, well, we good to go, man. We, we'll we try to make this little Zoom meeting thing work, see how this works out. Maybe it's going to be something for the future. Hell, if, this works, if, it, if it, the sound works well, which I'm hoping, then we could do it for, like, guests or something at some point, even after this shit's over. Yeah. Yeah, like said, like, like said, I'm wearing my prom dress. Really, my nigga? What are you well, talking I, about? I'm going to wear my prom dress next week. <laughs> you look very festive for the, for the location. Easter. <laughs> Uh, it is Easter. Oh, it is Easter next week. Damn. Yeah. I was supposed to get my hair done next week. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we can do that. Um, like I say, get our guests that we were supposed to have last time and just do it on Zoom. 
Yeah, we'll try it out. We'll see how it works out this time and when it converts. Yeah, people, like I say, people have been doing like, like podcasts with Zoom stuff like that. Sound been looking, sounding good, so. Okay. We'll That's good. Cool. I tell you, like this, this uh, quarantine shit is gonna make you learn that there's other ways of doing things than the way we've been doing them because we just forced to try it a different way now. You ain't yeah. gonna be able to cheat no more. Mm-mm. Why not? What they got to do with it? That? Oh, that's what I the take I get from it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know how that fits into Zoom. I, I, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, I got a meeting. Show me your Zoom meet, nigga. Show me your Zoom that, meet. That, that, that's when a nigga gonna do the fake freeze. Yeah, he gonna <laughs> freeze. He ain't got no his internet magic. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I see you blink, nigga. <laughs> I see you blink. I'll be like this. Oh, <laughs> click, 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 click. Got a line. Well, shit. Well, so that's it, man. As always, we hope you laughed a little, learned a lot. We hope, we hope you helped you find the remedy to whatever's troubling you. This is Rust Remedy Podcast. All right, y'all.